Okay, so when I do, when I write general purpose, I should the two. You will often hear women say that they're afraid to lift weights because they're scared of becoming bulky or too big. I can tell you from first-hand experience that there's nothing to fear on this score. As you can see, this woman pictured here is known as a bodybuilder. She lifts, yes, but look at this woman. She lifts too. The difference, bodybuilders are in it for the competition. But why does Jessica Beale do it? For herself. Last November, I started going to the gym on my own. I wanted to go because I noticed all my peers were really into it. And I used to say things like, you guys go without me. I'll just meet up with you guys, you know, whenever you're done. But that really started to take a toll on me when I realized I could be spending more time with them if I just joined them. So I didn't exactly start out going for me. When I would go, I would just walk on the treadmill, maybe do some crunches, you know, easy things. That was until March of this year came around. In my group of friends that would go to the gym, it would be four people, even, two girls, two boys. My friend Jessica and I would just watch the guys lay on the bench and lift their weights until so Jessica stepped in and said she wanted to try. The bar itself weighs 45 pounds alone, but she laid on the bench and pumped the bar a few times. When she got up, she laughed and said that was hard, never again. Before I gave it a try too, I said the typical response, I don't want to get too big. Immediately, the guys threw up their hands and replied, you won't, you can't, it doesn't happen that way. But what did I know? Nothing. With that being said, here are a few reasons why you want to be known as the girl who lifts weights heavier than the guy. One of the benefits of lifting weights is that it accelerates fat loss, making you burn fat faster. Muscle is metabolically active, meaning that a vigorous weight training session will ensure that you keep burning calories even after your workout is finished. Instead of lying in bed after a workout, you'll actually burn more calories during sleep than while awake because your brain is highly active during the REM stages. Plus, during REM sleep, your internal temperature spikes, which means your body is working harder to produce that heat, thus you burn calories for weightlifting even as you sleep. As evidence, one Brazilian study found that men lost more than three times as much weight over eight hours of sleep than eight hours of lying awake. To ensure maximum REM sleep, keep a regular schedule so that your body is used to conking out when you lay down for the night. The best sleep for maximum REM sleep is approximately eight or more hours. Turning off the computer or television an hour or two before bed can promote relaxation, as can darkening the room completely when you turn in. Gaining muscle is an extremely difficult process, and even the best bodybuilders have to follow an impeccable diet and training program in order to bulk up. Because women don't have as much testosterone in their bodies as men, it's nearly impossible for them to build muscle as quickly as men do. Most women associate weight training with the bodies of physique athletes or female bodybuilders who take anabolic steroids to look the way they do. Lifting weights will give you appealing muscle tone and make your body tighter. You don't go from lifting weights one day to having a perfect body tone the next. Like all great things, it comes with time. The loss of muscle mass increases the risk of having heart disease and stroke, fractures, weakness, and low energy levels. Lifting weights will strengthen the muscles around your joints and improve overall muscle balance and strength. This will result in a stronger body and reduced risk of injury. Another benefit of training with weights is that it will reduce the risk of contracted diseases such as osteoporosis, heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis. Lifting weights will increase your strength levels, making you a healthier, happier, and more productive person. It will also become much easier to get things done on a daily basis, and you'll naturally become more active. Weightlifting also wards off depression and improves your mood dramatically. Women can suffer from mood strains and painful cramps during menstruation due to hormonal changes in the body. One advantage of training with weights and doing exercise more generally is that it alleviates cramps due to increased blood flow. It also helps to stabilize your mood when endorphins, happy hormones, are pumped into your bloodstream after a hardcore workout. Do you remember walking to class when you were younger and having someone say to use the buddy system? Well, this middle school phrase is very thorough when it comes to having a buddy with you at the gym. I'll give you five reasons why. Number one. It helps to have someone with you at the gym because they can be your spot. 
A spot is someone who will stand behind you as you lift your weights to monitor you as you do your reps, make sure you're doing them correctly, and to also be there if you cannot lift the bar back to its position. If your arms get tired or the weight becomes too much, your spot can put his hands on the bar and pull it up from you to his resting spot. Number two, working out can be boring, even with your favorite tunes. With a gym partner, you'll have more fun because you're catching up with a friend. You can also play two-person games like tennis or racquetball to change up your routine. You'll be both You'll both be able to learn new techniques from each other as well. Just make sure you don't spend more time gabbing than working out. It doesn't matter if you tell everyone you know or you put it in permanent ink on your calendar. If you only have to answer to yourself, you really don't have to go. It's easy to disappoint yourself. But if you've got someone waiting on you, you're much more likely to show up rather than cancel at the last minute. This means more workouts and better results. Gyms would rather have two people join than one, and if you show up with a friend, they may give you a discount. If you're interested in personal training sessions, you may be able to show up for the session while only paying for one. This way, you each get half off. Not all gyms or trainers offer discounts, so be sure to check around before committing. Number five. You can tell everyone about your weight loss, and while your friends and family will be happy for you, no one will understand quite like someone who's been there. You can celebrate your successes with your gym partner by doing something fun together or even having a small treat. It's always more fun to share in your celebration with someone who's worked just as hard as you have. Joining a gym doesn't have to be a drag, especially if you've got someone by your side to keep you motivated and make working out more fun. Just be sure to choose a partner who is as serious as their goals as you are. Someone who's not motivated or is just trying to do you a favor will quickly frustrate you, further hindering your success. The results that follow with women weightlifting are a few main points such as healthier heart, burning more calories, a lower percentage of fat, etc. But I would also like to share with you my personal results from weightlifting. As of now, I've been thoroughly lifting weights and exercising other ways as well for a little over seven months now. This is me in the summer, just three months after I started lifting, weight, with lifting weights. Excuse me. In this picture, you can see how confident I may seem. Well, I was. I was confident and I loved that I did, so I kept it up. And this is where I am now. I went from lifting the bar alone at 45 pounds to adding a 10 pound weight on each side, putting me currently benching 65 pounds. When this picture was taken, it had been over a month since the last time I laid down on the bench and lifted weights. The muscle doesn't just go away. It needs time to expand and build on its own after it's been worked. This is why I highly recommend you target muscles each day apart so that they have time to rest and time to grow. I personally have my schedule set. One day is set for chest and arms, the next for back and shoulders, and the others for legs. When it comes to abs, they're fine to do every day or in moderation, but I don't always target my abs specifically, but I do see definition <coughs> of them after burning a lot of calories at the gym, visits, and eating healthier. Just this past month, to save myself and my boyfriend some money, we didn't eat any fast food, and I dropped four pounds just for not eating fast food in a few gym visits. After all, gaining muscle is just 20% exercise. The other 80% is based all on your diet. Ladies, if you're working hard to achieve your goals and you're not seeing results, don't be afraid to reevaluate your training. Empower yourself, do some research, grab a buddy, whatever you will do to get you motivated. Learn to be strong and don't be afraid of the male-dominated weight area in your gym. After all, strong is the new skinny. I have a question. Yeah. Um, do you, your personal opinion, is the bar better or individual weights better? I mean, I personally like the bar just because whenever I lay down, I pump it, I just kind of feel like a boss. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, you always see the men and, you know, girls are over there and they're like, oh, you know, I'm working out. And I'm like, come on. Come on. It just, it makes me feel more empowered. Yes. Have you ever thought about, um, like, being a personal trainer or anything? Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually what I uh, started studying in school. I was uh, going into sports medicine to become an athletic trainer, but just recently I decided to um, go on and get my full doctorate and just be a sports medicine physician. Yes? What weight would you recommend to start at? Um, I mean, if you're going to want to lay down, I mean, it's just the bar itself is 45. And if that's too much, you can just go ahead and grab maybe like 10s or 15s, just 
you know, little dumbbells on the rack just to get you started so you can get used to the motion because it does take a while to get used to. Any more questions?